Howdy, I'm Jacob. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Today we're talk here to talk about the military surplus Swiss Alpenflage Poncho. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe, smash the dislike button, and start an argument in the comment section below. Also, consider checking out the description box where I have ways where you can support this channel. Now, I purchased this poncho in Afghanistan. Some uh, D-bag stole my poncho, and I wanted to get something kind of affordable because the government issue ponchos are way overpriced for what they are. I couldn't get a lot of information on this, which is why I've been planning to do this video since uh, 2010. It's 2021, only 11 year wait. The truth is, it's not an exciting video, so I haven't been very motivated to do it. Uh, but we're just gonna get knocked out of the way because I took it out here. I wanted to do this video in the rain. You probably can't tell, but it's been downpouring all day. And of course, when I was ready to do the video, it stopped raining. Uh, if you don't want to waste any more of your time, why is this poncho sucks? It's heavy, it's large, it's not universal, the design doesn't work well, and even though, even if you find it cheap, it's still not a good value of your money because of those things. Uh, so you can just click off right now if you want to see why I'll show you. Basically, this poncho is set up like a jacket without sleeves. So my favorite thing about ponchos, which they are my number one recommended piece of clothing gear for a prepper, um, for because they're so utilitarian, you can use them for a shelter, they'll cover your backpack, they'll cover your gun, they'll cover your kit. You know, I wear, I wear a war belt, so regardless of what's going on, you know, it's all covered by the poncho, and you can pull out of a poncho and go straight into a fight. Not with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on, show you what's up. Dax, get away from my feet. You wanna put this thing on like a jacket, but uh, it's got arm holes instead of sleeves. This vinyl material actually reminds me of my deployment because I always remember smelling this thing in my bag. But, uh, all right, so it buttons up the front. All right, you can see that. Uh, but then it buttons down the side. So if you really want to be dry, you button down the sides here and you keep your arms in. Like a normal poncho, right? Except a normal poncho is a flat square, which is why you can use it for a shelter above you to make a lean-to or whatever. Um, whereas this poncho, you will hopefully notice, like I said, is a jacket without sleeves. It's not a flat square. And here's where the problem comes in. Uh, it, it does kind of have room for a backpack underneath, but uh, no quick access to the backpack underneath. And if you need your arms, you're no longer waterproof. Whereas with a regular square poncho, you can have your arms, you can have your gun under your poncho. Bringing your gun up just means going around your poncho. Something very easy to do, really doesn't take a lot of training. On this poncho, you've got to wear your rifle on the outside because if it's on the inside, there's no quick way to get it. The problem is this thick vinyl rubbery material is kind of sticky. It doesn't let you move or manipulate things on top of it very well. And if you have your gun outside of your poncho in the rain, uh, your gun's just sitting there getting wet. Also, I don't have access to my kit unless I unbutton this and pull this out. Now I can get my kit. Whereas a square poncho, I can do what I got to do, get into my kit and do whatever while still being waterproof. Uh, so uh, the other problem, and this, this could potentially be the biggest problem because you preppers out there, uh, we're all different. Everybody preps different. You have different ideas of what you need to do. And some of you don't even own a firearm, which is ridiculous if you're in America, even if you're not a prepper. Own a firearm, get training. However, the biggest problem with this, this is 1980s surplus, all right? By the way, the camouflage works exceptionally well, except it's a little bit shiny, but it does work. This crap, I've used it in a large variety of environments. It does work. Today, I think it's 65, 70 degrees, thunderstorms, sweating my balls off wearing this thing 
I am better off, my dog's bugging me, I'm better off taking this off and getting soaked because this 1980s material is not only thick and not compact and whatever else, it doesn't breathe. So you might not be wet from the outside, you might be completely dry, but you'll be sweating on the inside unless it's like 40 degrees. In a normal, modern, breathable poncho, I can go out in a t-shirt even when it's like 40 or 50 degrees and be comfortable even when it's not like all this. So this thing is ridiculous. And uh, the material is waterproof, but since it's complicated with all the buttons and everything, you got seams all over it, okay? So if those seams leak, you're not waterproof, and you're still not breathable. Ducks, get out of there. Um, so I guess I've taken about six minutes to tell you uh, this thing is not good. You can't really use it to make a shelter. Um, there is nothing that these are good for. If they were $5, I'm fairly certain I would still not buy them. There you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, talk to you in the comment section below. Have a blessed day.